action in defending our sovereignty that strengthen our human security. To commend the KDF for your exemplary contribution to efforts. As you know, this campaign is a national strategy to combat climate change and enhance mental resilience, thereby promoting overall security for our people and livelihoods. Further, the KDF for their tireless efforts and effective disaster in the midst of the devastating floods which have affected many parts. The government is committed to relocating and resettling affected and to significantly enhance national disaster response capability even better prepared for future emergencies. I celebrate the KDF for their iconic peacekeeping role. It's our nation's well-established credentials in our region to face an ever-increasing and challenging regional and global diplomatic and security. Whether in peace support missions abroad or national your actions reflect, reflect competence and worthy of our trust and the esteem in which our on the global stage. Therefore, as we honor your we affirm the unwavering support and commitment of the people of Kenya to the continuous enhancement of your capabilities and welfare to ensure that you are equipped to meet current with confidence. Finally, the Kenya Defense Recruit Training School community, from its staff for their dedication in educating and training, helping them with necessary knowledge and skills for mission. Your collective efforts have enabled this school to continue producing members who meet the highest standards. At this juncture, I wish to share a word of with the parents and guardians of the recruits whose material have been instrumental in preparing these young to step into vital roles in national service that demand and integrity. I commend you a strong foundation for our youth to actualize in their patriotic endeavor. Your sacrifice noticed and your continued support is the backbone of strength and resilience. To our new soldiers, men and women before me, we encourage you to proud a badge of courage, integrity, resilience, which define the noble tradition of KDF by many generations of your predecessors. Wear the badge of responsibility with a clear understanding of your protect and uphold our nation and promote and prosperity of its people. Together, continue to enhance our profile and capacity as a formidable united by one mission to the noble legacy of our fallen heroes and all who came before us strength to the continued actualization of a peaceful for all Kenyans. I say to all of you on your graduation today. I once again assure you 
unwavering support and wish you success as you join this family and embark on the noble task of defending which we all greatly love. And to KDF, I have an assignment for you. We have a change that is ravaging our country. We came straight from a year ago, straight into a flood situation. Climate change is the biggest threat to our development and to our prosperity. We decided that we are going to plant 15 billion across Kenya. I want to commend all Kenyans. Last Friday, an exercise in patriotism that I saw across the country with all walks of life, young and old, participating. I want to ask the KDF to lead all walks of life, young and old, participating in work with the Ministry of Environment so that they can be the lead champions in the exercise of planting the 15 billion trees in the next 10 years. I know and I am confident that the KDF are up to that task. As you protect our country, as you serve to secure our nation, Climate change is going to be the biggest threat that face our nation, and that is why it is absolutely necessary to mobilize our military to provide leadership in making sure we deal with the single most pressing challenge, that of climate change. Ladies and gentlemen, to the young men here, mimi nataka ni wapongeze nyinyi wote, Mahali mmefika leo ni mahali pa heshima. Training ambayo mmepitia imewafanya na imewaondoa sasa kutoka raia sasa nyinyi ni wanajeshi. Na nchi yetu ya Kenya inawategemea. Sisi wote wazazi wenu walio hapa na wa Kenya wengi ambao wanatazamia kuishi katika nchi yenye amani na utulivu wanawaombea ili mutekeleze majukumu yenu mkijua ya kwamba mnatumikia taifa letu na vile vile mnatumikia Mwenyezi Mungu Biblia inasema katika matayo tano tisa kwamba blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the children of God as you participate in keeping the peace, in making peace, and in securing our country, you will not only be serving our nation, but you will be serving the Almighty God. I implore you, my sons and daughters, that you have a huge responsibility on your shoulders. All of us have a duty and responsibility to build our nation from every space that we can to make a contribution to the greatness of Kenya. Those in our farms, those in our shops, those in our industries, and you in our security sector, all of us are making our contribution to the greatness of our nation. I want to thank you, I wish you well, and I wish you God's blessings as you start your career going into the future. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless our country. Asante, sir.